Hi everybody, my name is Drew Hanish and I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial of how to create a very nice looking HTML template for Gmail. It's one of the main reasons why I haven't used Gmail for the longest time is because it's been a little bit uh, annoying to have to you know, just have a signature line. You can put a little HTML in the signature line, but it just uh, never really seemed to look exactly the way that I wanted it to look. And so now I've actually come up with a way to um, use some of the lab tools that are in Gmail to be able to create a very nicely formatted email. And as you can see right here, we've put in a banner, we've put our little QR code in there, it's our digital business card and also put all of our basic information in here and put some quick links to all of our social networks. So, good stuff all right there. How did we get our email to look like that and how can we constantly write emails and have them look just this nice? Well, let me show you how we did it. Okay, I go into my Gmail and this doesn't matter whether you have a Gmail account uh, or whether you have just a regular um, Gmail, you know, business account, or whether you're just doing a regular uh, Gmail account for your own personal uses. But basically, what you need to do is come in, and uh, we're going to check our settings up here in the corner. And as we jump back here, we're going to go to Labs, and under Labs, there are a couple of things that we want to make. Um, actually active. One of them is inserting images. Make sure that that is enabled. Okay, we also want canned responses. This is the one that's most important. We want to go ahead and enable that one as well. And uh, it seems like there was one more in here that we wanted to do. Uh, signature tweaks. Um, sometimes it's a little uh, dash dash in there. Uh, it's a little annoying, so let's go ahead and get rid of that because we don't have to delete that every single time we go in. And when you're finished, come to the end of all of these and hit Save Changes, which we have already done. And once you've taken care of that, then you should be able to go in and compose a email. Now, of course, this is an email that is not going to go to anybody initially. What we're going to do, and you'll see the canned responses is now added in here. We're going to touch that here in just a second. But the first thing we want to do is insert an image. And you can either pull in one from a web address or you can grab one from your computer. And that's what I'm going to do right here. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can find a banner. And in this particular case, we'll use the Hanish banner. And you'll see that it's available there. I click OK. And now all of a sudden it shows up in my email. Now what I'm going to do is you'll notice on my email that it's nicely indented. Well, all I did was use the block indent. And uh, we might give this another row for some cushion. I put a little greeting in there. And then I put in my information. And just type that right here. And I may want to put in a phone number. And also stick in my web address. And if I have a different one as well, I can do that. All right. Nice little signature line there. And all I have to do to make these links is come up here and click on link. And Google's pretty smart. It just figures out what that link is because it has a www in front of it. And so we do that. And actually, when you send your email, this will also go along with it um, as being a link as well. So you can make your call from straight within Google if you wanted to. And then I put some nice little buttons down there at the bottom, uh, social media links. And so if you want to do that as well, those are actually just images in addition so I just jump right in here and put my little Facebook icon and hit OK. If I want to put another icon I can do that so I'll go ahead and stick my Twitter in there. Okay, Excellent and the people at Google will love me for this because I'm going to go ahead and put in my Google Plus. Okay and hit OK and there are my icons at the bottom. Now I want to turn these into links because I want these to go directly to my social networks. So I can type in or cut and paste
paste, doesn't matter either way. kind of confirm for you. You can change, remove, or uh, do what you need to to the image. And uh, then you would do the same for Twitter and for Gmail. So there you go. All right. Very easy to do. I can put a little extra information down here. Uh, and um, of course, now I put my uh, QR code up here which if you scan that you will go to all the information I have for all of my social networks which is very nice this is a little flare we've added in as well if you want to do that same sort of thing of course you have to put that into your graphic up there at the top and uh, I always suggest that if you are going to do that you may also say um, you know where your tools are at to be able to um, scan those so um, For those of you who know the official name, and you can highlight that, create a link, and go ahead and link to the page on your website or wherever you'd like to, uh, or on our links to site actually. There's a little blog post about that, and that's what we would probably link to. So do that, and you are all set up with a um, HTML template that you can use over and over and over again. Now, how do you save this? Well, I go to canned responses. Okay, it's going to take it a second here to load. Always going to be slow when you're trying to demonstrate it to somebody. <laughs> okay, here we go. And we go to canned responses. And then what we're going to do is we're going to save this as a new canned response. We'll give it a name. This is our tester. Hit OK. And now, how do we write a new email? Let's just go ahead and hit compose again. Come down here, hit canned responses and we're gonna hit insert test boom look at that I have myself a nice little template I can go in hi there and put my information in here there you go okay and say thanks to somebody and go ahead and put your subject in who you're gonna send it to hit send and you're on your way and anytime you wanna add this in you can go ahead and just hit canned responses and choose the template that you want to show off. In fact, we've created a couple of them um, just to show you how easy it is to do this. Uh, if I wanted to put one in for my links to, there it is right there. So don't even have to leave my uh, world of email here, Gmail, to be able to change my look when I send out emails to different people. So that's canned responses. That is how you create a template for yourself. I hope that was helpful for you, and uh, drop me a line if you have any questions about it. I appreciate it, and have a great day.